toys have arrived. Yes. What else are you going to do in a cold winter except, well, order more gear in anticipation of future trips. So I've done that. I ordered myself another pair of uh, motorcycle pants from my favorite, one of my favorite vendors, Revzilla. So I'm going to slice it into the pants. Yes! Well, might as well order gear and think about uh, traveling. Now, this particular brand I picked up is uh, Cortec, and did a little research about what they had available. Because I have an odd size, I take a short size, uh, and not every brand has a short size. And if you don't do that, I have, if I don't do that, I have to pay the tailor tax and take them to have them tailored. Well, I prefer to keep the zippers as long as I can from slipping them over my boots, that sort of thing. So I prefer to get a pair that fits. In theory, these will actually fit. Um, what's wrong with my existing pants? Well, the first generation of pants uh, I picked up were simply too large. Uh, and they were the cheapest ones I could find. They were extremely heavy. They were extremely baggy. And I had to use suspenders to keep them on my hips when I was not on the spider. The second generation of pants I picked up last spring, it took me forever to find the size that fit. And when I did fit, I had to have them tailored. And they didn't actually blend with my jacket, the color. The color didn't. It was uh, in contrast, as Miriam was saying. You know? I'm not that much on fashion, but Miriam says they should they should match. So I got a pair of black pants this time, so they should work fine. We'll try them on. Well, and the pants fit perfectly. Can't wait to get out there and get on the spider and give them a, a test run. I was gonna do that yesterday when I got them in, but the weather forecast was forecasted to be Partly cloudy, high in the high 50s, maybe even touching on 60. Well, it never got out of the 40s. It was uh, low altitude clouds, mist, drizzle, just miserable and cold. So uh, I didn't get out. And today, of course, the sun's shining. It's still cold, but I've got a full schedule. So ah, maybe one day. You know, this time of year, I think I get a little bit of cabin fever. I'm just anxious to get outside and, and, and get, on, get on the spider. You know, I remember, remember years ago, I used to be really into winter activities, uh, winter camping. Uh, I, we would look forward to actually going out and uh, camping in the snow, doing some winter backpacking. Um, snow skiing. I used to love to do snow skiing. But it's been about 10 years, and I found out that that probably wasn't a good idea to do anymore. I was standing completely still, fell over, and ended up with a hairline fracture in my spine. That was kind of painful. But there's a whole story about how I was left for dead in the shadow of Donner Pass during a snowstorm in, uh, in the Tahoe area of California. Makes for a good story, but it was painful. And the reason I even bring that up, a lot of the folks that I like to watch on YouTube do a lot of, of camping uh, when they're traveling on their motorcycles. And I'm giving that some serious consideration. Uh, the cost of the camping gear is a little bit prohibitive. Um, and on the ground is just kind of hard nowadays, it seems like. So I, I really think that my camping days are pretty much older. It just seems like as you get older, things that you really enjoyed are no longer important. But things that weren't important when you get older are now more important. So, you know, one door opens, another door closes, that sort of thing. And i got to say, I really like the creature comforts of... Uh, indoor plumbing and climate control, especially when I'm, when I'm over 90. I don't mind going out in the cold weather or the wet weather to, uh, to do traveling, but at the end of the day, I just want to be comfortable. Now, one of the interesting things that happened recently, Miriam got me a membership for AAA Motor Club. And even though we already have a roadside assistance program through our automotive insurance, AAA 
is a vendor of paper maps and paper travel guides. And if you watch the channel, you know I have a little bit of a fetish for paper maps. And here's something very interesting that I never thought of until this last week when I was doing some planning for our upcoming trips this year. Regardless of which online map service that you use, at least I can't find any, none of them highlights the scenic routes. Where almost all paper maps, scenic routes are highlighted with little dots along the road denoting that that is a scenic, a scenic drive. So I'm working on some routing for possible upcoming trips and using the paper maps from AAA. You know, and they're free out once you pay for the annual membership. So it's it's a good deal. If you go to the bookstore or you order from Amazon, they can be a little pricey to order them individually. And this year we're going to be doing a lot of traveling. So I think it's paid for itself with just the paper maps. So nothing left to do today except kind of go through my gear, organize it, and hope for some nice weather so we can start getting out and getting uh, some riding in. Well, you don't see this every day at Virginia Beach. In fact, we haven't seen this in probably two years. Uh, we average about eh, a good snowfall about every two years, so this is our snowfall. But they also tend to come in clusters. We may get two or three in one season, and then the next season or two we won't get any. That's just the, the nature of the uh, nature of the meteorology where we're at. So Miriam uh, left for work and promptly gave me a call and said, would you do me a favor? I forgot my laptop. And she's in meetings all day today, so it's her laptop is kind of critical. It's her link with the rest of, of her working world. So, yep, I went out here and dusted off my SUV and uh, heading over to deliver a laptop to Miriam's work. Hot coffee in the morning. Which begs the interesting philosophical question. Which occurred first, human consciousness or coffee? It's right up there with the chicken and the egg. Well, the roads aren't that icy, I don't suspect, because of the temperature. It's hovering right around freezing, but it just felt slushy. And slush can cause hydroplaning and I don't want to do that and it's a short run over to uh, Miriam's work from where we're at now Mission accomplished. Huh, now I can go home and have some breakfast. It's amazing, the weatherman actually got it right for once. Um, still got some snow coming down, gonna be coming down for the next couple of hours, but getting lighter. And we've got about three inches so far. And for us, that's a big deal. You know, for a minute there, I thought about getting back home, having some breakfast, and taking the spider out for a run. And then I thought better of it. Um, the last time I made a foray in the snow and the ice on the spider, well, <clears throat> that was rather uncomfortable. Um, so I'm not inclined to do it anytime soon. But the good news is, February is a few days away. Typically, in mid-February, we get some days in the 70s, uh, just because of the fluke of our weather pattern. So looking forward to those. Definitely going to reserve those days as soon as they get forecasted so I can get some time on the spider. It's just cold and rainy and 40 and 30 degrees doesn't do it for me. So I'm going to have to go inside and plan some trips. Well, that's going to be about it for today's short video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or anything that you want to see covered on the channel, please give us a, uh, some feedback on that. And thanks for watching. 
and y'all take care. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. And don't forget to subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment below.